<laughs> okay, guys. I finally caved in. You wanted it? <laughs> We're freaking gonna play Jurassic Park Builder. The one game that I actually have to thank for starting my channel. Oh my god. I'll, I'll get- should we get a face cam for this one? I feel like a face cam's in or in order. At least. At least to get a, a, a reaction, shall we? It's- it's gonna be terrible quality, but I'll be right back. Hello! Hello! How you- how you doing? Damn. Look at that. That was the last time they updated. It was the Indominus Rex. 2015! Since this game's updated, you've received mail! <gasps> really? Oh wow! 72 hours promo. Guys, this. This is ridiculous. Oh, DNA rescue! <laughs> Do you remember? Oh, like, and then we, we got that, like, code that was kind of like if you if you do a battle and then lose you open one of the chests or one of the inc incubator things and then you you might you've got a chance to find the dna and then you lose another one and you got another chance if you win it you can open all three but if you lose you can only open one and i remember hours and hours spent on this game Jeez, like trying to get all of those because they only came. Oh, we got a pack. Oh, no, no, the bad memories. Oh, no. The how much did I spend or whatever it was? Utah Raptor. I think it was Utah Raptor. They put Utah Raptor in that pack. They put Utah Raptor and Dreadnoughtus in that pack or Dreadnoughtosaurus. They put, I think, maybe two creatures in the aquatic and two creatures in the glacier and charged 20 quid. And I opened pack after pack after pack and got more annoyed and annoyed and annoyed because it didn't look like at the time that they were going to release them at all and i was i was just such in a panic because it was back when it was back when i i was like really focused on views and um subscribers and getting content out first back then because it, it was like back in 2015 even i think it was 2014 15 ish um like it, it felt like, as far as, like, dinosaur YouTubers were, you had me in best in slot. And whoever would cover the first thing, like, the newest game or the newest dinosaur or newest whatever, all the views would go to them. And then whoever co followed it next, it would, like, be half as much. Um, and I remember just, like, the panic of, like, just, I've got to get these creatures! I've got to get the creatures! <laughs> Oh, back in the day. Oh, let's see what we get for a free pack, shall we? Let's open that. 2,000 meat, 2,000 crop, 2,000 crop, and four books. My God, look at that. 9,000 books. Now, just, if anybody hasn't seen this game, and has only seen Jurassic World, uh, my Jurassic World game, um, then look at that. For £99, it's only 1,500 books. To, give, to put it into scale perspective, that having 9,000 books is equivalent to, you know, over... 300 pound 400 pound not only that but in Jurassic world the game terms it's like having 200,000 bucks that's what it's like having i think so ooh, let's collect some crop <laughs> let's collect some more oh my god did i do all the missions i don't think i only got level 91 didn't even max it did i have missions had missions look announced and uninvited Let's give Kelly a helping hand planting the next mobile transmitter. Have, have 10 blue plants. <laughs> Should we do that? Oh, I'm actually just really cute. Do we have space? Yeah, because the way I laid it out originally, such a throwback because I was, I was like teaching myself and other people how to play it, how to get coin faster. So if we go on the market, we've got decorations. What did I use first? I think it was the blue one. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, blue flower. Uh, no, no, that was it because there was always a book one um, And I can't remember it was wasn't too, maybe it was that pink flower patch for 2.5 I think that might have been it and then I saw them for the white fern tree um, And then I think there's a not a blue one. No, because Paris Rolophus Seemed to be the best one Honestly seemed to be the best one. volcanic vent. Look at all this. Look at all this Oh man, a white tree fern. It's blue. Okay, did did she want pink? I th oh, sorry, blue. I think she wanted blue. Hey, there you go. 
172,000 XP. See, it got ridiculous. It was like you were getting so much. And then 8,000 8, quid. Look at that. Jeez. What does it say? Ian Milk. Oh, we got Sam Neil. We got Alan Grant. Zzzt. Ian. Zzzt. Oh, he's on it. Oh, right. I thought he was snoring. I was like, that's a weird, that's a weird snore. Oh, he must be on a um, walkie talkie. A Motorola Sabre. Uh, it's Alan. Do you read me? Over. <laughs> Ian, pick up. I know you're there. Mm, it's not even the six in the morning yet. As um one doctor to another, I beg you, let me sleep at the in this one. Uh, uh, I like how they put the um in. Get up here and put the bathrobe and look half decent. I think you may have a situation on our hands. I need you down at Mission Control this morning. <sighs> Fine. Can I at least um get some breakfast, <laughs> Mummy dearest? <laughs> oh, what even this? Okay, well, yeah. I, so I've got every creature in this game maxed up. I don't think there's a single one that I don't have. Like, Amargasaur was like my first proper... Like, was it, it wasn't a tournament creature. It was like a book creature. Because we can go on ho house... Oh, maybe we can't. Is it market? Yeah, market. We can go on dinosaurs. Indominus Rex. Look at that. A picture from... Jurassic World the game. Like, look at this. When this game came out, I don't even know when it was. That was the best in-game model, the Triceratops and Dilophosaur. And then look at Indominus Rex, like, five, six years later. Like, Lydia have done an amazing job, like, transforming these. Because, like, the last few creatures, like, Ragisaurus, Shunosaurus, Sucumimus, Eupocephalus. It was a good one. Jurassic World Alive is not good anymore. <laughs> Dreadnoughtus and Utah Raptor. They were the last ones. Damn, Tappy Jar, I remember getting that and moving some creatures out, I think. Yeah, I moved these out as well. And then, oh, just so much, so many memories, like getting a T-Rex finally. Like, I remember having, like saving up so many books for the Christmas one, getting the offer, and then something happened and I didn't get it. I can't exactly remember. Then you got the code red. And then you do, you do it in a second. Hold on, let's, let's do Code Red. Let's do Code Red. For the last time ever on the channel, let's do Code Red. So is it is it carnivores? I think it must be carnivores. So what you've got to do, you've got to click the the carnivores when they're really close to being filled. If you don't, if they fill up their, their stress levels, then they break out. So you've got to click them just before they, like, the higher it goes, the more coin you get. Just if anybody's never played this before. So you get pretty darn close. That's only 2,000. So, oh god, there's loads, isn't there? See, the head's getting red, so that was 2,600. Oh, come on, we can do this. It's a bit, a bit slow, isn't it? <laughs> so what, oh god, oh god, oh god, uh! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna share the reward. <gasps> Dinosaurs escaped. Fix park, and there you go. You've got to wait now, unless you want to speed it up. So that was that's the Jurassic Park. Um, we'll go to the aquatic one because that was the next one. When the aquatic DLC came out, oh, that sound effect, that three. I don't really remember like it coming out too much. I think aquatic. Did the aquatic come out with battles? Did it come out at the same time? I'm not sure. I don't think. Maybe battles were now. Oh, Trinacarium! Look at them teeth. Oh yeah! So you would have to. Are you. Oh, there we go. Set off all the submarines. I remember you'd have to click on this, and then you would. This is how you would also find DNA. Um, I think it was this way. And then there you go. Oh, the sound effects! Oh! <laughs> dung dung dung. And the same situation here. We've got 150. Shark lawnmower. Oh, God. Dude, Captain Levi. I named it Captain Levi before I knew of Attack on Titan. And I, I think it was Attack on... Attack on Titan must have been really popular. And somebody said to call it uh, Captain Levi. Um, the Fishnado, I think that was. I don't think Trinicarium had one. Uh, Archelon. I can't remember what Archelon was. Was he... He was a pancake. I don't know what he was. He wasn't popcorn either. Um, Echo the dolphin. Oh, jeez. Yes, I remember that. Um, yeah, Anomalocarus. Yeah, he was one of the last ones. Definitely. Uh, so was this guy as well. Uh, Hybodus. Jeez. 
Jillicus is in Jurassic World Evolution now. Uh, was it Ice Cream Cone or all the Saras? I think we call it Evil Baculites, where I did the uh, like the Halo Brave Mind sort of effect. Uh, I can't remember how I made his voice now. I think it was on Garage Band. I'm not sure. I just put like loads of reverb. I think I probably looked at some tutorial to see how how to make his voice. Um, oh, Obo do Obo Badobo. I think Adobo. Did I call it Adobo? I think I've already called it Adobo because I'd met like. The reason why I played Jurassic Park Builder um, was because of Whitney. Uh, I, I had a Blackberry at the time and she had, um, it was like a, an Android, like a like an Android phone. Um, and she said to me, oh, you should like, cause her phone was like really good. Like it was at the time when Blackberries were really popular, but then they just stopped. Everybody had a Blackberry, then everybody didn't. That's what happened. <laughs> and I remember um, she saying to me, oh, you should get this phone. And I was like, Actually, to be honest, she, it was just a good phone. She didn't have to tell me. And I, I wanted the same phone because it looked really good. And then she was like, oh, because she was trying to get me into it. She's like, look, look, there's a Jurassic Park game. And I opened it. I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. And I made my first video on Beaver Media. Went viral from there. Like, the views. Because I was playing, oh, Super Kool-Aid? Or was it just Kool-Aid? I think it was Kool-Aid at this point. Um, vampire fish. <laughs> but trust me, you have reason to be <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. All these memories, vampire fish, dolly, uh, I think that's the, the colossal squid, uh, Lasmosaurus, Captain Levi, Hyneria, I don't think I had, uh, Shastasaurus, no, I mean a, a nickname for, Edustus, uh, we, we pretty much got everything, uh, Geosaur, uh, Metricanthosaurus, Protostega, Leedzichthys, would love to see Leedzichthys in uh, Jurassic World the game. Popcorn, I think that was Festiverderma was the popcorn. Uh, Chronosaur was a really weak one. Styxosaur, Leptoclidus, Helicoprion, Dacosaur. Dacosaur wasn't too great. It was like a gold, but it wasn't one of the best ones. Sea Scorpion, Mosasaurus. Oh my god! What did I call that? So, I mean, sunburn fish, I think is what we called it. But like, it just reminded me of like a certain drink. Um, Shonosaurus Pancake? I know this was Pancake. Uh, uh, Tylosaur, Hainosaur, look at them. Bronze and silver in this game. Basilosaurus, uh, or Basilosaurus, and uh, Platyserapus. Ooh, wow, that is interesting. Do I have missions in here? Oh yeah, you've got like three extra missions in here. We've got mail, but we're not going to check that out because that's probably just referring to friends. Uh, all the decoration. Did I, did I get everything? I'm pretty sure we got everything. Yep. Hyneria was like one of the last ones and so was Adustus, I think. And then it was around about Christmas time in 2015, I think it was, when uh, Jurassic World was coming out next year. Or maybe it was 2014. Um, we then got the Glacier update in this game. Macaroni! Who, who could remember? Who could forget? Macaroni! Oh, I loved- This is like the only park I actually tried to make a park. I remember spending a while like, ooh, uh, you know, everything's symmetrical and getting everything right. So we got like the giant sloth there. We got Death Panda! Was that Death Panda? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Death Panda. Well, that wasn't Death Panda. Hold on, hold on. We got the Andrew Sockers. Land Whale! I think that was. Uh, Titanoboa. Dinosuchus, Megalania. So I'm keeping an eye on the time because it's about to run out. Hold on, two seconds. The Dodos. Oh, the beautiful, beautiful Dodos. There's only one when you fought them. Uh, Megalosaurus didn't have one. Starbucks. That was like the first T-shirt designer made. That like I think I made it on. Well, it was some. It was some site where you, you could just like upload a design and sell T-shirts. I had Whitney design or uh, like a really cool looking. It was like you know the Starbucks logo except for it had the uh, deer in the middle and it had star books with an x underneath it and they uh, they there was like maybe maybe 20 sold 20 t-shirts sold with that design and then they got in touch with me and said you can't sell that with star books on it because it's too close so then from then on out they sold um without the text on it uh hopefully i'll probably put up pictures or whatever it was um and th the the crazy thing was there's only, there's like people out there who have a Starbucks t-shirt and it's super rare. Super rare. I've got one. <laughs> I don't worry, I just kind of have it there like, jeez. And funny, fun fact, that t-shirt 
has been going for years because I, for whatever reason, um, when I took down all my t-shirt designs from that site, uh, Teespring or whatever it was, I can't remember. Spreadshirt, that was it, Spreadshirt. Uh, the design I'd submitted, I'd submitted it as a design. So other people could still buy the design and put it on whatever shirt they wanted. So I was like, for the longest, it's finally gone now, like four or five years later almost. And it's, it's, it, the, you can't get that t-shirt anymore. So that's like first wave. And then you had Drunken Hobo next to the bar. What was this? Hotel Four Winds. <laughs> like I deliberately put like coffee outside Starbucks. Um, who else? There's Death Panda. I remember deliberately trying to win with him as many times as possible. Um, who else we got? Architarium. Cannonball. There we go. We, I don't know what that was. Um, Coopers? The Cooper Troopers, possibly? That's what that one was? Um, ooh. Did I call this Best in Sloth? Or oh, Best in Sloth? My god, that, that takes me back. Because back then, like, Best in Sloth had, like, double, triple, even quadruple the amount of subscribers I had. And uh, same for views. So I was, like, a tiny channel at the time. And I remember, um, like, nicknaming this guy. Like, oh, best in sloth. And then people went on his videos and started saying, oh, Game of Beavers named that after you. And then he mentioned me in one of his videos and I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Best in sloth mentioned me. <laughs> now I don't care about that guy, he's an asshole. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, okay? There's some people, <laughs> No, I barely have anything to do with him, to be honest. Um, but yes, um, and then Gatorade, yes. This was one of the, the later on uh, models. And you could tell because they just look so much better. I mean, you know, the thing is, this game is running off a certain software and it can't be too good because all devices had to run it uh, or be able to run it. So they were they were, they were were working at whatever they could do. Mo Ethereum was one of the last ones I got. Look at that. I mean, 8,000 health. I, don't, I couldn't even tell. Um, that Was that it? Was that the beaver? I'm pretty sure I used this to Protodon I used as the beaver before Ludia finally put Castordis, which I think is in here, into the game. And it's blue if I remember right. Uh, Entelodon, Deodon was mainly an attacker. Uh, Hyenodon with three... Th there it is, Castordis! I'm in the game! <laughs> God, I remember that. It looks like a very... It looks like a hard-boiled sweet. It tastes very like raspberry or blueberry. I don't, I don't know if it's just us in the UK, but like we don't have grape flavored stuff. We have black currant and if it's blue, it's raspberry and not blueberry. It's, it's very strange how we've done that. We don't have grape flavored anything. Uh, it's all, it's all black currant. I remember going to America and seeing grape flavored Fanta. What is that? Because we had something called zesty berry for the longest time. Uh, and I loved Zesty Berry and it disappeared. I don't know why, maybe it was just so unhealthy because it was proper sugar. Uh, sausage face or sausage nose, if I remember right. It looks horrendous. <laughs> just looks like it's had bits of skin peeled off it. Uh, Amplodon didn't have a name. I don't think any of these did. Mastodonna. Oh God, they're all loud, very loud. And this was Carnival Corner, I think possibly. Spent again ages on this thing um, and it was never hooked up. Oh, uh, oh no, maybe it was hooked up. So you got, yeah, was this uh, the marsupial lion? Smilodon was a good one as well. Uh, oh yeah, and all the kiwi birds because they wanted to conquer the world. I remember. <laughs> was it uh, the de what was it? What did I call it? The the bird of doom, death, death. No, they were death dodos. And this, I don't know what that was. Kiwi bird of doom. Kiwi bird of doom. My God. I forgot about it. That's Klenikin, and I don't know what this one is. Gastornis, and that's it. And that is all the parks. Oh, we've got this as well to open. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll have a double check to see if... Oh, let's send off a free expedition. <laughs> I'll have a quick check to see if we've um, we've actually unlocked everything in the game. Now, the, one, the, one of the reasons why this came... Yeah, I do. Uh, this came to my attention was because... Uh, oh god, the, like battle came out. Yeah, and for the longest time, I mean I did it all and then I thought we could go even further But that never happened never happened. They never extended past 50 got all of the rewards There was a glitch in here where you could constantly get uh, Books if you failed it and then redid it 
And I made quite a few books doing that. And I remember making a video and posting it on Reddit. Jeez. Uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, and then they added tournaments in, uh, which was like the big thing that we did. You would, every time it would clock over a new month, you'd quickly get back up to dominate a league and you do it there. So let, let's do, let's do a battle. See if I remember. Ooh, if we use Karkoridonosaurus, we get double the prize. Oh, is it? It's something like that, isn't it? Oh, God. This whole system. Jeez. <laughs> it brings back so many memories. Oh, my God. <laughs> Better use Triceratops. I can't remember how this worked. I just remember if it was in the lower down tournaments, then... Yeah, that's them putting in the dinosaurs, isn't it? It was the lower down tournaments... Then they would they would do stupid tactics if I remember. Oh look, escaped Alberta. So, uh, fight. What we got? Uh, not not as great. Not as great dinosaurs as mine. Obviously, you can't beat my car on And this was it. Three specials, three blocks, and then you have to remember what their weaknesses were. Okay, guys, this is the test. Let's see if I remember what the weaknesses are. Charge. Yeah, that was his weakness. It's so ingrained. I have this ability to retain loads of redundant knowledge on just stuff. I <laughs> don't know how I do it. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Because the tactic with this was to put out your, your meat shields first and then they would go for their specials and they would waste their blocks. And at the very end, you would use your blocks and your specials with a sweeper just to kill. So we'll go for charge. Now this is going to do a lot of damage. Ooh. I'm trying to remember what Stegosaurus's weaknesses. I can't remember. It might be Swipe. Right. Because you, you, de depending on what was used, you only need to use one attack to work out the weakness. Because if it was the minimum amount of damage, it was it was always this one. So and it was never like kind of random with ever. What, what was its weakness? The other two weren't random. It was always like predetermined. So will he go for a block? Will he? I waste. I, well, I didn't waste, but I spent so much time on this. You know, it's it's gonna happen in five years' time. I'm gonna look back on Jurassic World the game, and I'm gonna be like, wow, I remember when you know Legendary Packs first came out, and then because Legendary Packs would let you. Um, oh no, it wasn't swipe. It must be buy. It must be charge. Huh, never mind. Let's go for charge. Yeah, it was charged. Oh, there you go. Um, but I remember when tournament, um, tournament, you, or you wouldn't. It was weird because with Jurassic World the game, you'd get like a battle pass, and that if you competed in the battle pass, that would allow you to win the legendary pack or whatever. But it would only last for a certain period of time, and you could only use like legendary creatures. It was so, and especially when the game first came out, nobody had legendary creatures. Nobody had him. So, I don't know. They've learned their lesson. You see, I could do this a lot quicker. I could. If I wanted to. Also, the bots in this game, because you never fought real people. I think we found that out very early on. But it, when I when this first came out, it was so cool. I think Amargosaur's weakness is bite. I think. Yeah, bite. Ha <laughs> um, ha! But I rem if you did your special, it would do... The full damage plus half, if I remember right. Either that or double. I think it's full damage plus half. Oh no, he's dead! Should we go for Kenra's uh, Tijonga? So we'll go for a spec. Why not? Never gonna use the uh, claws again, or teeth or whatever. They were. I think they were originally teeth. Uh, or are they teeth now? They used to be claws. They used to be claws, I think. Yeah. Um, but man. Oh, we've entered. We've, we've entered this 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 uh, ch championship, haven't we? Because <laughs> when the tournament first came out and you thought they were real people, it was like, oh my god, I'm fighting a real person. This is so cool. But slowly and but surely, little flags started to arise. Little red flags. Like, they would always do this, this certain thing. And then it was just a pattern that seemed to turn out. And Lydia, I don't think, ever changed the pattern. Ever. So, um, we'll go for Iguanodon, Sukuma. Oh my god, the live stream! I remember we did a live stream and it was like Spinosaurus, um, Sukumimus, and another, uh, Spinosaurid. Irritator, was it? Baryonyx! Baryonyx, Spinosaurus, 
and Sukumimus. And I, my challenge was, can I win a battle? Can I win a tournament with these guys? So, let, you know, it's just a Dominus, please. Oh, just one in Dominus. That's interesting. Okay, apparently this, this person has shelled out a lot of cash for Indominus. I haven't played this game since it came out. So, but if I remember right, Indominus Rex cost money. That's the only way you can get Indominus Rex. Or at least it costs books, which is basically money. Oh my god. Do you see his like bottom jaw go through the top jaw? Oh dear. Ooh. That was a medium hit, so his big hit would do a lot of damage. And the thing is, you had to... Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> you had to predict um, how they would attack. Because usually, the thing was, if they were going to die in one more hit, they would use all their blocks. Um, and if you used a special, and you, you, you had to kind of gamble whether they were going to go for their, um, their blocks when you used your special. So, like, using your special at the start of the game was never a good thing. Because you'd always end... Like, there was a high chance of them using their blocks. Um, and if I remember right, can you do more than three specials? I don't think you can. So now this, this person's probably, oh, Emma, supposedly Emma. <laughs> Who plays this game anymore? <laughs> uh, supposedly, uh, she should start using all her blocks now. Now in the harder, in the harder tournaments, like the higher, more higher up tournaments, that's what would happen. Uh, if it timed out, I think, oh, it's gonna, oh, look at that. Look at it, camouflage. <laughs> oh, it's dead. Oh, it's dead. Okay, we're going to go for Indominus Rex. Oh, well, Charges Man is probably dead. I was going to say, unless that was its weakest attack, which I don't think it was. So I think Indominus is the best dinosaur in Jurassic Park Builder, full stop. You can't say that for uh, Jurassic World, the game, unfortunately. But in Jurassic Park Builder, it was the best. Um, and we'll finish up... With the amazing T-Rex, Eupocephalus, and Dregnotus. Ooh, a Stegosaurus, not bad. Ooh, an Ozudoceratops. What's the next one going to be? Oh, a Eupocephalus. Ooh. I think they're in their final evolutions as well. And that's another thing that would baffle me. Um, ooh, Indominus Rex, wow. Um, what, like, if you've leveled up your dinosaur to that level... Like, to that evolution. Why are you not feeding it? That never... that It, it still happens in Jurassic World, the game. You'll fight people that have a level 27. It's like, why not get to level 30? Oh, my God. I think he might kill me one more hit. Okay, we gotta go for a special. Let's go big. And T-Rex had the huge head. It was ridiculous. Oh, 5,000. Oh, he's almost gone. You know what? I'm gonna let him hit me. I'm gonna let, if he goes for a special, fair enough. Oh, he doesn't, but he does go for the weakness. Look at that head. It's like a bloody pop figure. <laughs> and we'll go for a bite, see what he does. Um, yep, got him. Beautiful. I like that sound effect of the T-Rex biting, though, because that's when he's, like, tearing into a Gallimimus. The thing was, we, we used to have a list on all of, um, on all the dinosaurs and what their weaknesses were. So this is everything that's weak to charge, everything that's weak to bite, everything that's weak to swipe. Um... It didn't used to be this way, though, um, these battles. Because when it first came out, I think it was random. I think you would just have to go for attack. Um, or was it medium, light, heavy? I, can't, I, th I feel like it was just attack, you know. I guess we could say farewell, Jurassic Park Builder. You, you were enjoyable, if not frustrating. You were a good time killer. And if it wasn't for Jurassic Park Builder... I didn't think so. Everything's usually weak to bite or charge, I swear. If it wasn't for Jurassic Park Builder, my channel wouldn't be where it is now. If it wasn't for Ludia. Um, so, oh god, okay, it's charged. That's right, because it's always one to the right. So, oh, sorry, one to the left. If, the, if it's the weakest, if the we whatever you've chosen the weakest, it's the one to the left. And if it's charged, it's the weakest. Or Attack, then it would be swipe. You would just like come out that way. Jeez. So, like, I have to thank Jurassic Park Builder for a lot. Um, we're not gonna play it again. <laughs> There's no reason. Um, yeah, sorry. This was brought. This this was brought to my attention. Um, 
Not only because you guys uh, mentioned it and wanted me to play it, but also because the Facebook version of the game... Oh, we get an extra five cups! <laughs> oh, into Silver League! Oh, the days, the joy, happy days! Um, and then you've got like the aquatic version, and then every now and again you get like the, the super DNA, and that was only in the top ones, and the glacier one. Uh, yeah, yeah, because this is being discontinued for Facebook. You can't play this on the browser anymore. So, um, that's being shut off and you can only play on App Game now. And it'll probably just stay like this forever now, I would assume. Never again will uh, Jurassic Park Builder get an update. But I would rather they paid more attention to Jurassic World Alive and Jurassic World The Game. So, I do understand where they, they were coming from. There was plenty of assets and mini games, it seemed, that were in development, or at least thrown about. Like a fossil digging game and, and some other assets. Because an artist that left actually showcased his work that wasn't used. And everybody found it and made videos on it. And, um, and then I, I didn't do that though, because I was like, oh, I don't know if I should... I kind of don't want to disrespect them that way. And I don't know if any law things and all that jazz. Um, but, hey, now I've learned that it's... it's. I don't need to be worry, worried about Ludia. It's universal. <laughs> it's universal. It'll pull my content down. Um, but, yeah, it's it's been a great ride with Jurassic Park Builder. And I think it's about time we said goodbye. I feel I owe to not only Jurassic Park Builder, but you guys as well. Um, I mean, I, I was in, you know, I've, I put so much effort into this channel and creating content and it shows because you guys wouldn't be here if I didn't care. Like if I, if I just literally just did bare minimum, didn't care about what I was doing, you guys would have picked up on it long ago and you wouldn't have been interested. So and I'd be, you know, maybe not here, but I do care about it. I, I love doing this job, entertaining you guys and everything I, I like being creative and whether it's playing games or doing skits or unboxing or whatever i like having that what are we gonna do today sort of thing so i, I thank you so much thank jurassic park builder and i'll see you in a game that's not jurassic park builder oh bye bye can we get like the old outro that would be great we'll get the old outro <laughs>